What's up everybody, this is Matt with an update for you guys on January 16th, 2015. How are you guys doing? So I've had a chance to think about what I want to do with these updates a little further. And I realized that my creativity doesn't really follow a schedule like YouTube kind of recommends us to do. Uh, most of the time YouTube recommends us to basically follow a schedule. I have something on a Wednesday and a Friday at the same exact time so people know what to expect and I realize I don't have that but I think one of the great things about these updates is that I can pin it to one day have it sort of be like a review video where I point out things that I've done over the last week or two and give you links to those videos that you might have missed over the last week or two and give you a chance to check out tracks that you would have checked out but just missed on the subscription feed and I think that since Friday is the weekend day and you have some time to listen to music over the weekend, why not put this update on a Friday afternoon? So this is what I'm doing right here. And here are the tracks that I have done over the last couple of weeks. I've done two electronic dance music tracks over the last couple of weeks. I've done an electro track called Frozen Karma and a dubstep track called Sub-Zero Engine Grind. I guess I've been on a winter theme for the last couple of weeks since it's been so cold. Also, I've remastered a couple of my older tracks. Uh, one of them was Digital Survival Loop Remix. I've renamed it Digital Survival Loop Remastered to kind of annotate that I've redone it and made it sound a little bit better. And also Electro Breaks Loop Remastered as well. Those have been kind of popular on my list and I wanted to basically make them a lot better and I think I've done a little bit in that direction. So give those a listen and let, let me know what you think. One of my other popular tracks for last week was called Chip Tune Warriors. It's an 8-bit track that has gotten quite a bit of a response and uh, I'm, gl I'm glad you guys like it. Uh, I always underestimate the popularity of the 8-bit tracks um, and I don't do as them as often as I should. Usually I do about one a week or something like that. Uh, but maybe I should do a little bit more. I don't know. 8-bit uh, is one of those things where uh, I wonder if the novelty of bringing back that genre has worn off any. And maybe I should go into maybe the 16-bit genre or a 32-bit genre. I know that the Super Nintendo stuff was also pretty good in terms of music. But uh, let me know about that. Let me know what you uh, have in mind for that. Uh, also, I did um, a, basically a background track based on Hearthstone tracks. Uh, I think I did pretty well. Uh, in the future, I plan to do more of those and maybe get a lot better at doing the sparse track kind of background genre that you guys are looking for. I also did a spacey uh, background track called uh, Philosophies of Spacewalking. It's been pretty good, but I also got a uh, request to kind of tone down the Glock that was in there. It's kind of a piercing tone, tone that I realized and some people like it, some people did it. Uh, so if you want the version that has the subdued Glock on it, that's not so loud. I, I basically linked it in an annotation on the original track video. So uh, give those two a listen if you like. Also, I did one heavy metal track, which is called Basic Distortion Run. I realize that's kind of a basic name, but it describes the, the track um, it, to a T what it is. It's basically just me doing some Paul muted chucks and, and you guys seem to like that. So I'll do a little bit more of heavy metal, of course. And I did one funk track. It's uh, a basic funk track and it's called Liquid Locomotion. All of these tracks are in the description below. Check out what you want and download what you like, of course. By the way, if you're wondering what's on the screen, it's a video game demo called Bateri 1977. Not sure what the significance for the year 1977 is, other than it is the year that Star Wars came about. It was released on theaters in the year of 1977, so maybe that's why they wanted to pin that year to the, this game for some reason. There's a little kid in the intro graphic that is playing with an X-Wing, so that's probably what it is. But last update, I kind of hinted that I would be doing this for my updates to give you something visually good to look at. Uh, 
And the free way to do it is to get all the demos and play those for like 10 minutes or so. So I have something to show you and not pay any money and give you something new to look at and maybe something interesting to check out. Um, I'm not really qualified to tell you whether this game is good or bad. Just kind of go by the visuals and the controls that, I, that are kind of floating about on the screen. So hopefully you like this and I'll continue to do this sort of thing throughout my updates in the future. As for a question, uh, on my end of year mix, I got a question of whether or not I, I could make a playlist of all of my tracks, um, every single video that I've done because apparently YouTube in its genius decided to disable the, the feature where you could go into my videos and play them all in one, one, one swoop. Uh, and I've got two answers to that. Uh, one, um, I can do that playlist if you guys want, although I think it would be a little bit better for you guys um, if you go to my channel page and check out the playlist of different genres that I've got there. Um, my channel, I feel, has been pretty good in dividing up the genres into different segments that you can check out according to your tastes. Like, I, I do have a, a dubstep genre, and I do have an electro genre, and I also do have, like, orchestra and suspense, all these things separated out so you can get to the stuff that you like and get to the stuff that you can use on your videos. And I feel that that's a better way to do things. I, I don't believe that YouTube has disabled the, the feature to autoplay these lists. It's only disabled the ones that... Uh, the the feature to autoplay your entire video set list and i'm not sure why they did this it's you know you know youtube they're always confusing they always do things that make no sense whatsoever but i guess that's what they wanted to do uh one other thing that you guys can do is check my stuff out elsewhere and what i mean by this is for the last year and a half i've been doing these things called uh bulk playlists and essentially what they are, if, you, if you've checked out my, my uh, website and uh, happened on the master list, um, you know what they are. They're basically just basically 101 tracks that I've done from prior, uh, all grouped together in one album. And yes, they're on sale on iTunes and Amazon, among other places, but you can also stream them on other services. I do have them on Spotify, and it, I, I do know that a lot of Twitch players do use the Spotify playlist to basically run my music uh, seamlessly without having to uh, make mix mixes themselves. In the future, I might try to make uh, more playlists on Spotify or, or other services so you can basically uh, run them you, you yourselves and basically have those things available to you when you do streaming or or if you just want to listen to a, a playlist in general but i am not also just on uh, spotify for streaming there's a lot of other services in fact i'm going to put a list on on the screen right now and in the description below on all these services that i'm on right now through the uh through the music service called tunecore there's a lot of uh, shops there. There's a lot of new stores that come along. And uh, I want to make sure that I'm up to date with you guys. Some of you guys have asked me about what other like uh, apps or like uh, streaming services that I'm on. And they're all listed right here. Some of the services I've been able to find my artist page uh, directly. Other places I haven't been so lucky, but I do know that they're there. So I give it a try and see if I'm there. And also give me comments uh, about uh, wh how you think I'm doing. And I will see you guys next week. I will be doing this next week. I promise. Have a nice day.